Look what I have here. I have a DJI Ronin M. <laughs> what? So today is going to be unboxing of the DJI Ronin M. Uh, the reason why I got one of these was because my other gimbal was a little too shaky even if I used um, the proper walking steps to see cars go by drifting and I couldn't get the shots that I wanted last time in the D1SP video which I'll put in the description to what I'm referring to you'll see a lot of shakiness when I follow the cars so yeah right so I got this used off of Amazon for a thousand eighteen dollars I got a really good deal on it the guy was super nice and shared some good stories and now I have contacts with someone who also does car photography so we are going to lift up the box here and right away the packaging is super nice it's a flat black easy to scratch but who cares oh my god look at this stuff guys I can't thank him enough everything is super clean he even had the foam here still like it's still on its original tape so this is freaking awesome thank you so much so I got the manual I mean it just tells you how to set up the Ronin which I'm probably going to need but this is just an unboxing video I will do a setup video because I don't know what I'm doing so first time setup and we're gonna do like a first time shot shoot with my Sony a6300 um, with DJI, I heard the service is terrible as in customer service, so I'm going to try and learn this and also get the DJI app so I can balance and calibrate this. Okay, so we got some more user manual. This is just to attach things. I've done my research. I'm pretty sure I know how to, but that'll be the next video on how to set up the DJI Ronin with a Sony a6300. So I was going to settle for a DJI Ronin. But those things are meant for heavier cameras, like uh, like Reds, etc. Um, so putting my Sony on there will be overkill, and the gimbal probably the gimbal probably wouldn't even recognize my camera. All right, so we're gonna start off here. Right here looks like to be the stand, and I mean this is damn. I don't know how to work this thing. <laughs> so let's let's zoom out here, and we will. So I believe, okay, so this is a locking mechanism and there's little buttons right here that enable you to fold down, I think. Let's see, yep. And it locks in place, so that's pretty cool. The build material is pretty nice for this. It's, um, it's a scratchy metal, but I mean, you're gonna be banging this thing around, so you, I wouldn't even care about the scratches. Um, right here, okay, so there is Two other buttons right here and on the other side another button which I cannot get through so I must loosen this I think I don't know uh, let's press the button again and boom so let's show you guys a little close-up of what this is and let's tighten this so this doesn't come around okay so right here you have the DJI printed right over here um, probably heard that that was just scratching onto the metal let's zoom out again you got DJI Ronin printed on here um, I believe a stand is around 200 to 400 dollars so um, like I said this is a really good deal and I can't thank him enough so he's the guy that I got it from only used it three times around there and honestly this is one of the best buys I've ever got and yeah like I said I can't thank him enough so yeah, here's a stand, just put your handlebars right here, and um, yeah, stand on the floor, make sure the floor is leveled because any little thing apparently gets the balance off. And yeah, there's a little locking mechanism on the back, and I believe this is to detach. Don't know, I don't really want to fit it with, fidget with it, and I want to keep these on because that's fresh. Got a bag here, it was already unboxed, so um, no worries about that. See a little... Remote here. Yeah? This thing looks like I'm flying something. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Oh my god. So, right here we got a forward. Oh, wow. See, 
I thought that the remote would be going only up and down. You can go left and right. Um, that's really cool. And same with the turning radius. That's really cool. Um, it's like a little strap here to hang that on. Power. Oh, and there's batteries in here. Look at that. That's so cool. Uh, and then you got your modes. So this is how powerful I guess you want it to go. Not sure. I mean, kind of cool. Hangs on. Nice quality. Can't go wrong. And yeah, these look like scratches in the pictures. I mean, but look at it's freaking. Let me let me just show you guys. There is like no scratches on here. He took really good care of this. I like people that take care of this stuff. You should do the same. So in here, ooh, looks like you got. Okay, you got a hexagon key, which is super flashy. This is like a little bronze look. It's a three six, three by six inch. I mean, yeah, it's cool. It's, uh, let's go and take the rest out of the package. All right, and there is an abundance of tools. So right here is a lens support. If you have a heavier, heavier, heavier camera, you can use this to see the cameras right here, put this underneath the lens, nice support. And this is adjustable so that it can go with any other lens. These are the screws for cam mounting the camera. That's sick. Let's put that all back. We have the... Okay, so these, these are your handlebar attachments. So if you're going with that, um, I will set this up. I won't set up with the camera, but I will assemble it just to show you my frustration because I don't know. This probably should be so simple. Like, I mean, what the hell? Let's put that back in. This. And again, look at, look how nice this is taken care of. Holy. Looks like it just came out of the box. Well, right here, you mount your camera on where your lens is. I put my probably my camera back here because my lens sticks out probably this much. So, yeah, mounting points here, sliding mounting point, boom, good. Okay, so this is one thing I really like about DJI. The grips <laughs> remind me of BMXing days of ODI long neck grips. These things feel like BMX grips. And I remember feeling my friend Derek's and this thing was freaking awesome. This is your locking point for the gimbal itself, which I will put onto here. And yeah, you just do that, tighten it right here just in case. But, wow, oh, feels like I'm <laughs> holding a nice piece of equipment. The build quality is pretty sturdy. I mean, there's no flex. It, um, Feels pretty good. Yeah, let's put that back in. Uh, let's take it out actually. Yeah. Right here. Oh, I already did that one. <laughs> this is another, along with this grip right here, which the screen is falling out of. I will put that back in. So, right here, you have your two grips, both on the side. Wow. <laughs> I can't get over how good these feel. Um, I believe you also have these little screws right here. Okay, yeah, that's for that. Never mind. I thought it'd be just a mount. You have to buy the mount separately for like monitors, etc. Which you probably should because you're you probably can't look at your camera when it's on the gimbal. So let's put that there. This is the 3400 milliamp battery. Online, you can get these ones for 4320. I believe uh, milliamps and was that Miller Henry's? I'm not sure. It's good battery. Uh, it supposedly lasts about six hours. Let's see if it's charged. And this thing is fully charged. That is freaking awesome. So yeah, let's put that back in the box or over here. And right here. Okay, so I don't know what this is. This is a 
maybe a firmware update thing? I am not sure. This is a USB cable that probably plugs into the gimbal itself. Not sure. Um, you got your power bar and your power cord and along with the charger. That is also covered. This is covered. What the hell? That's how much... That's how much a company can go that far. The company can go this far, it means their, their products are pretty, uh, pretty quality. I mean, for them to protect the little pins here for the battery, good on you guys. Good on you, DJI. Satisfied. Alright, let's put that back in the box. And... Okay, so... Wow, hey, okay, this feels really cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so this, this guy, is the gimbal. Wow, feels so cool, you don't even know. My uh, old gimbal was not like this, it was one of those like Zion type cranes, so it's cool. So right here is your balancing mechanism, you can go back and front. This is where you, where is it? You lock your gimbal onto here from the top. So the handle goes right here. And then if I could zoom out, I would. You have your DJI Ronin in here. And I like how precise it is. It has measurements here. Uh, the cord here probably can tuck that in just a little, but it's not really bothering. Um, yeah, this feels pretty sturdy. Metal's pretty nice. Uh, the guy took really good care of this, like I said. There, there is nothing on here that I can complain about. It's Bluetooth. It's nice. Merci. We're going to assemble the Ronin. So first you're going to take the top of the Ronin and you are going to place this mount right here. Underneath, you will see you can just slide it in. So you just push the pin in I guess. Yep, just like that. So let's do that. Okay, so we're in there. And then from here, you're going to want to tighten as much as you can without this thing moving. And this thing is not going anywhere. So that's the first step. And then you're going to want to attach your handlebars right over here. And already this thing is feeling so weird. Little handlebars. So there's going to be a little notch in here. You are going to fold it in. And I really like what they did here. It makes it so that with my old gimbal, you just screwed it on. But these ones, these ones allow you to push it in for extra support. And then a nice screw on top of that. So there's that. Let's put the other one on. And there you go. And then now, what's left? Wow, <laughs> that's so cool. And what's left is your two grips. So let's put that on. And look at that. Holy shit. Oh, boy, you don't even know. You don't even know how cool this is. And I only got to put this. We'll put that battery in last because I just want to take a quick moment and look how cool this thing is. I mean, this thing is so nice. It has like this nice carbon fiber look over here and grips. Yeah, so. This is my unboxing, this is my setup. This, I think. And now I am going to move on to the next video, which you guys will see probably in a couple days from when I post this video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, peace out, and I will see you guys next time.